It's always safest to get your belly button pierced by a professional. But if you choose to do it at home, here's how. You'll need a body piercing clamp, a 14 gauge piercing needle, and a 14 gauge belly button ring made of a safe material like stainless steel or titanium. You'll also need rubbing alcohol and a body marker. Wipe down the surface where you plan to put your equipment with a disinfectant. Then wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Submerge all your equipment in rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide for one to two minutes. Then lay it out on a paper towel to dry. Next, clean the area in and around your belly button with alcohol wipes or a cotton swab dipped in skin-safe disinfectant. Use the marker to draw two marks where you want the needle to enter and exit your skin, just above your belly button. When you're ready to pierce, unscrew the ball from the top of the belly button ring. Use the piercing clamp to grab the skin you'd like to pierce and pull it gently away from your body. The marks you drew should be centered in the middle of the openings on the clamp. Line up the point of the piercing needle with the bottom mark. Take a deep breath and push the needle through the clamp skin in one quick fluid motion. Don't pull the needle all the way through. Instead, load the top end of the belly button ring into the hollow end of the needle, and then use the jewelry to push the needle up and out. When you're sure the jewelry is all the way through the piercing, remove the needle and screw the ball back onto the top end of the belly button ring. As soon as you're done, clean your hands with soap and water and gently clean the piercing with a cotton ball or pad soaked in saline solution. Clean your new piercing with soap and water or saline solution once a day. If you notice signs of an infection, such as increasing redness or swelling, a bad odor, or greenish or yellow discharge coming from the wound, see a doctor.